All right, everybody. Hello and good morning. So this is our restorative yoga. So this is a very quiet, relaxing practice that we're going to work in releasing different areas of our bodies. So as you may notice, I have everything. So you want to get a blanket, some sort of blanket. This is a yoga blanket, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, the thing about the yoga blanket is it's hard, it's harder and sometimes it offers more support. Sometimes we have a very cushiony one, it may not as much, but whatever you have, you can get some towels, uh, some bath towels. And I have my bolsters here. There's quite a whole variety. You don't necessarily need a folded towel, replace something that looks a little bit like this. Uh, if you fold your pillow lengthwise and then wrap it in a bath towel, Will be something that can be a replacement for this or the round bolster okay uh, the blocks are really helpful uh, for today so if you can have a couple of blocks if you only have one then you just use the one uh, and i can give some modifications in case you don't have any block okay we are going to start in a very relaxing position so you can go ahead and grab your bolster or your pillow folded lengthwise, and we are gonna get started by laying down on our bolsters on our back. So the key for this class is to feel comfortable. So whatever position, if we uh, it's not comfortable for you, then we need to modify and make that position nice and comfortable, okay? So nothing that's going to be too much in your body. We'll just sit at the end here. And we're just gonna lay down nice and slow. Gonna extend your knees. And we're gonna bring the arms out to the sides. Now this can be a T position right now, just to take a few deeper breaths and allow your chest to start to release. So deep breath in. And breathe out, relax. And this is about learning how to let go and not hold any tension in the body. You may start to feel that chest and back opening up in this position. Now we're going to slowly bring the arms above the head and behind and hold on to your elbows together. So you may feel a little extra release here on your shoulders. I'm just going to change the music for us. Just hold that position. And I'll go ahead and switch the arm that if you had one arm on top, now you're just going to switch and have the other one. And I'm gonna slowly release. Now bend your knees one at a time. And you're just gonna roll off the bolster. This is how we come out of the bolster. You just roll to the side. You can stay here for a breath or two. And then press to the palm of your hand. You're gonna come to a seated position. And you can just Cross the legs, or if crossing the legs is too much for you, you can keep your knees extended. Just finding comfortable position here. I'm gonna bring the hands to your shoulders and I'm going to roll back. Now into two elbows together and then opening up. Bring those shoulder blades in. Now we're gonna do 12 of these, okay? So a lot of times we have that pain in the shoulder Pain that scapula and the shoulder blades or pain even on your neck is coming from that tightness in that back. 
So we're going to, if you can do this every day, or even a couple of times a day, 12 times forward, 12 times back. And now we're going to reverse it. And if you notice yourself rushing, trying to finish, it's not about finishing, just really enjoy this movement here. Enjoy releasing all the tension on your upper body. Stay with all the sensations of this movement. Breathe. And once you're done, just release, bring your hands. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Bring in the right ear to the right shoulder. And just allow that left side of your neck to release. And here you can adjust the position of your head so that it feels comfortable. And we're gonna slowly go back to the center before switching sides. Keep those shoulders down and relaxed. switch sides this time you can bring your fingertips to the top of your head and the opposite hand to the floor next to you slowly release bring the hands back to the thighs head to neutral position and then switch sides fingertips to the top of your head and then the hands next to you on the floor breathe doesn't have to be too much pressure it's just that weight of your fingers and slowly release back to the center we're gonna roll the head on the front from one side to the other Take your time. And back to the center, take a nice deep breath in, bring both arms up. Now exhale, bring your left fingertips down, right fingertips pointing towards the ceiling. And now if you are more flexible, you want to come lower, it's okay. Just try not to collapse and lift the hip. So if you are that flexible to come lower, you can. But otherwise, you can stay up here. Just cupcake hands. It's feeling that nice release on the side of your body. 
and you can also adjust how you're opening up that chest and shoulder if you feel comfortable to you. Slowly release, take a deep breath in. Exhale to the opposite side. We feel that nice little rush of blood going through your body. And here, opening up if that feels comfortable. back to the center take another deep breath in bring both arms up now as you exhale we're gonna twist towards the left right hand on your left thigh and then the left hand behind you on the floor just slowly start to tug into that left thigh to bring your body to an upright position Maybe as you're looking over that left shoulder, you can see something that you're grateful for. I just was speaking through my window. And slowly back to the center. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, turn towards the right side. So now your left hand is on the right thigh, right hand is behind you on the floor, and you can tug on that right thigh and make her back nice and upright. And slowly release to the front. And now we're going to pick up our bolster, pillow, whatever you have. Couple of options for you. One, we're gonna bring our legs out to your fan pose. And we're gonna just place the forehead on top of the bolster right here. All right, so what we want is just have our upper body be able to relax into the pose. Now, you can come lower if you like. Uh, an option would be Add whatever you need. It could be add two blocks or adding and the blanket on top and the forehead down. So it really depends where you are with your flexibility. You can make this lower or higher. We're trying to be gentle here. So I'm just gonna go with my bolster on my forehead and you can have your hands on the floor in front of you or on your thighs, whatever you feel the most release. Now notice if you're holding back, this is a little slippery on my floor, so I'm gonna use my, my mat to grip my bolster on the floor. Just finding that right sweet spot here where we are not holding on you're not trying to hold the pose. You are able to actually release into it.
every time you take a deep breath in and then exhale, just really let go into the pose. With each breath, And slowly walk with your hands in, hold on to the bolster, engage the core coming up. So we're gonna do the counter pose for this one and we're gonna place two blocks. Now this can be used as if you have a chair next to you also and you don't have two blocks, you can use your chair. So this is what would place the bolster on top of the blocks. You can also pick up your blanket, this is a great opportunity to use your blanket so you can uh, tuck it in the ends like this and make it into a nice little pillow it's all about comfort comfort all right we'll place our legs on top of the bolster and the block lay your head on your little nest and this time with your arms if you are Still with the shoulders are tight, you can have T position or you can bend your elbows at a 90 degrees. All right, try not to hold on to your legs. You really want to allow the knees to just drop and the feet are going to come out to the side slightly. Don't try to hold on to it. Just really let go. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Release any tension in the body. And as we bring our body to rest, a lot of times the mind wants to go. Let's just see if you can bring your mind to this present moment. You can focus on the breath, or you can focus on the sensations in the body, and how good it feels to just take care of our bodies in this way. We are always on the go, we are always working out hard and pushing our bodies hard and this is the time to be stored, knowing that you have earned this moment to relax and soothe your body.
Now we're going to slowly start to bring a little bit movement here. Just bring one leg down, your foot, plant your foot on the floor, and then the other one. All right, we're just going to roll to the side. Just come to a seated position, pressing through the palm of your hand. We're just going to move our bolster and blocks. Okay, so we do want to keep the bolster nearby on one side of the mat. I'm going to keep on that side so that you can see what we're going to do. So you're laying down flat on your back. All right, you're going to bring that left knee towards the chest. And now using that right hand, you're going to hold on to your shin and bring that leg up and over. Now the opposite arm or elbow, whatever you, you can, depending on your flexibility, can rest on top of the other posture. So what we want to do, we really want to bring that leg, keeping it at a 90 degree to the floor. So you won't be able to bring that shoulder all the way down. So you're going to just rest it on top of the bolster. If this is too much for you, you don't have to bring it all the way down. And breathe. Now, if you are more flexible, you want to add to this pose. I'd like for you to, on the bottom leg, to bend your knee. And then with the opposite hand, you're going to find your foot. And then you're going to bring that heel towards your glutes. So you can feel also a quadriceps stretch. I'm going to slowly release the foot first if you're holding on to that. And I'm going to slowly bring that left leg. Now, what we're going to do is pick up that left leg and rest either on top of the bolster, which you can move it all the way down, or just hold on to it. If you are very flexible and you can bring that leg down onto your elbow and rest, so we are opening up the hip at this time. All right, so now if you want to hold on to it, or you can just rest on top of that bolster that was out there. You want to keep the hip down. And you can keep the opposite arm out to the side. And gonna slowly bring that leg to the center. Bring that knee to the chest and then the foot down and bend that opposite leg. Gonna bring the bolster to the opposite side. And extend that left knee, bring that right knee to the chest. So 
make sure that bolster is high enough so you can rest your elbow on it. And let's start to bring with the left hand, holding on to the right shin, the leg up and over to the other side. And rest your arm or your elbow on the bolster. And slowly start to bend that bottom leg. Hold on to the top of your foot, bring your heel towards your glutes. slowly release the foot first I'm gonna bring that knee towards the chest extend the left knee down and then open up that hip I'm going to slowly bring that leg towards the chest. Bring your foot down, bend the opposite knee. Going to grab your bolster, bridge up, lift the hip up, or your pillow, whatever you have, and then slide it underneath. All right, so once you have this underneath, you're going to extend one knee, just one knee. So if let's say we extend the right knee, I'm gonna bring the left arm up. And take a deep breath as you exhale, really release. I'm going to slowly bend the right knee, 
bring the left arm down and now we're going to extend the left knee down and bring the right arm up Now you're gonna bring that right arm down. Bend your knees. Bridge up, lifting the hip up nice and slow, and then slide the bolster out. And you're gonna slowly come down one vertebra at a time. And bring your knees towards the chest, both of them, and rock side to side. Make some nice little circles. And let's roll to the opposite direction. And then allow you to drop out to one side and press with the palm of the hand and come into a seated position. We're going to bring your bolster to the side, to your hip. And going to extend both knees. We'll shake those legs a little bit first. And then bring the legs in. Turn your torso towards the bolster. And then bring your chest down, forehead down. And then just turn towards that one side. If you like a little bit more, you can turn your head to the opposite direction. For an extra neck stretch, if it feels really tight, just keep your head on the same direction as your legs. So if it, this is also too low, this is a time you can also use your blanket. The blanket's here to add a little bit of a layer. Just turn your head and press to the palm of your hand and then come to a seated position. We're going to switch to the other side. So first extend your knees. We're going to bring the bolster to the other side. Bend your knees. And we're going to bring that bolster or pillow next to your hip and turn your torso slowly come down once the forehead touch you turn your head sideways and 
make yourself comfortable and if you want you can turn your head to the opposite direction We'll turn your head and then press the palms with the hands. We'll come up to seated position. All we're going to do now is just to turn into child's pose. You can keep your bolster where it is. If child's pose is too much for you, you can sit and just um, have your knees extended this way and then pull the block so that you can rest your head forward. Another way to make child's pose a little bit easier if you feel pressure on your knee is to add a blanket here so that you're actually sitting and you're not all the way down. You can add some, a block also. This is a little modification if you need. Turn your head to the opposite side. Come back to the seated position, just press into the palm of your hand, move the bolster out to the side. We're going to sit with our legs crossed. You're going to open up the chest, take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, give yourself a big hug. Fingertips on the shoulder blades, chin down. I'm going to slowly open up, get your breath in, this time bring the opposite arm on top.
And we're gonna slowly release, look over the left shoulder and then look over the right. Look over the left and over the right. And back to the center, roll your shoulders back. And we're going to finish it up with three deep breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Now last one. Deep breath in. Bring the palms and the hands together. Exhale. Bring the thumbs to the heart. Namaste. All right. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is was our yoga store. So this complete our second block of four weeks of body sculpt so i will see you next week with the whole new um calendar and program that i'll be posting on the group have a great day all right hard deep. <laughs>